life, we are now in charge of the city. It is not about uh, trying to manage uh, politics in another province or doing issues in another municipality. Conditions that were obtaining in the city were such that parties needed to agree on a compact and one that would be able to move the welfare and the well-being of the people of the city further forward. Listen, so well, as to the nature of our relationship with the IFP and uh, how we are agreeing to work together, that remains a matter between the two parties. I'll be able to. I just have to ask, uh, some people have said that Jeff is actually tainted with allegations of corruption. I, I mean, what, what now? He's now your mayor. Well, Jeff has, not, Jeff has been cleared by the Integrity Commission. He's the chairperson of the region of Johannesburg. He is now going to be the mayor of this city. He's going to take us to the 2021 elections where the ANC is going to emerge victorious again. What is important with this victory today is that it now takes the city back to the hands of the people. Are you expecting a legal challenge over this voting process here today? Well, how can something that was so transparent, a process that you yourselves in the fourth estate had witnessed, names of councillors had been called there, they were ticked as they were voting out there. So there was no Marobani business here. Everything was straightforward. The ANC emerged victorious. Democracy came alive. First priorities for the ANC in the city of Johannesburg? The first priority of the ANC in the city of Johannesburg is to make sure that all of the things that the ANC had written in its manifesto when it went to the 2016 elections are realized. Making sure that we place and put first the plight of our people in this city. You would remember that uh, under Pakistan, when he was the mayor here, there was a lot that was happening. We had created jobs. Some of those jobs were shunned by the Democratic Alliance uh, coalition. We've got to now go back and assure our people that the city is back now in their hands. Well, you are, still, you are still here. It's not going to be televised. This revolution is not going to be televised. It is going to be shown here. There is an item on the agenda where another motion has got to be tabled as it relates to the speaker. I can tell you, when we leave here, we'll be having a proper government of the city. Mr. Mabe, when you look at the key appointments that have been made by the Democratic Alliance led coalition, like your city power, you pick it up. Is the ANC going to be looking at reversing some of the appointments of uh, the former mayor, Herman Mashaba, and the Democratic Alliance coalition with the economic freedom fighters of their voting partners? Well, I'm a national spokesperson of the African National Congress. I do not see it in the caucus of the ANC here in the city of Johannesburg. Comrade, uh, Comrade Jeff, together with uh, his own uh, executive here, will have to make a determination on what are the priorities. I can tell you now that in their own priorities, it has always been a program of the ANC to put people first. So you trust the person who is riddled with the scandal of 30 million rands in the city of Johannesburg? Well, he has been cleared. He has not been found guilty by uh, any tribunal or court of law. I think we ourselves in the media should also go easy in terms of uh, accusing comrades of the ANC, even when they are making themselves available to clarify such accusations, we still force them and make sure that uh, they have got their own life. We must, uh, it must be all hands on deck. I, most of you here stay in Johannesburg. You want clean water? You want to make sure that uh, there is provision of a, a proper human settlement? You want to make sure that uh, your communities are secured? You also want to make sure that there are jobs provided here in the city. You also have got the responsibility as shareholders of this city to help us build a city that all of our people can be proud of. Well, Comrade Jeff is now the mayor, uh, uh, Comrade Samgelo. Uh, you need to at least uh, appreciate that and start respecting him as such. Give him the respect that you accorded to the mayor of the Democratic Alliance. In the same way that all of you respected Mashaba when he was a mayor here, it is expected that you will give Jeff the same kind of support so that he is able to discharge his responsibility as the number one citizen of the city without fear or favor. It is important that we understand that leaders of the ANC, when they are put in positions of responsibility, they serve the people selflessly. They put people first. That's what the ANC is all about.
SG and GF is coming soon. Let's so, of course, that was uh, Bule Mabe, the a spokesperson of the ANC. And there you have it, uh, South African uh, citizens, Johannesburg citizens, Jeff Makubo is your mayor. Of course, he had 137 votes, um, and the likes of Funzi Gobeni had 101 votes. And, of course, followed by uh, Musa Nobela of the EFF with 30 votes. So, uh, Johannesburg residents, for those of you who just tuned in, to the SABC, there will be no second round of voting. Jeff Makubo from the ANC has now made a comeback, but not as MMC of Finance this time around. He's made a comeback uh, to the city of Johannesburg as uh, mayor of Johannesburg. Uh, we, all, we actually told that Jeff will be joining us anytime soon, uh, followed by the Secretary General, uh, Ace Mahashule here. So this actually means that the IFP indeed uh, had uh, voted with the ANC as we had correctly initiated or rather said earlier on. I see Floyd Shibambu here of the EFF and Mandy Samashiro here of the EFF. If um, our camera operators will just make way for them and of course we'll just get a reaction uh, from the EFF. Are they happy? Are they not? Of course they've been saying that they will be backing uh, their candidates with 30 votes and not voting for the ANC or the EFF and here they are of course Floyd, how are you guys feeling? No, look, we note the election of uh, Jeff Makubo as the mayor of Johannesburg, but that doesn't take away the concerns that were raised about him, that when he was the mayoral committee member responsible for finance, he was also doing business with the city through his company. He was working with the regiment, the Gupta company, and he has got that relationship with them, but also was involved in a lot of other wrong things. So we are clear as the EFF, our conscience is clear that we did not form part of establishing a corrupt government here in Johannesburg because what has just been established here, it looks like with participation of the Democratic Alliance, it's a corrupt government of uh, looters who are going to loot this uh, city. They had uh, been punished by voters in 2016, but now they've uh, uh, come back through backdoor. Because what they've done is an arrangement which uh, seems to be happening without the mandate of the political parties that voted for them. Because uh, clearly some in the Democratic Alliance went to vote with them to gain the 50% plus one, which otherwise they did not deserve to get. So we uh, are noting that uh, the DA has participated in establishing or re-establishing a corrupt government here in the city of Johannesburg and we are going to continue as opposition and uh, expose the corruption that the ANC will obviously be engaged in. So that is basically our stance in terms of uh, the uh, recent uh, outcomes. Uh, basically that is our position. So Mr. Shivambu, at this point in time, South Africans and the city of Johannesburg residents can say that the EFF accepts the outcomes of this particular council city. We note the outcome of this uh, uh, process uh, and what, what makes us happy about our councillors. We've got 30 councillors here in the city of Johannesburg and all of them voted for the candidate mayor of the Economic Freedom Fighters. So the EFF didn't sell out, did not participate in establishing a, a, a corrupt government. So we, uh, we noted the outcome of this particular process and we, we will uh, continue to engage. We'll see when we then pass budgets and deal with other issues in terms of who are these people who had voted for Jeff Makubo because when you vote for a budget and deal with other motions, it is no longer a secret ballot. You must reveal your face in terms of uh, uh, which uh, budget are you voting for and uh, whether you're uh, voting for a budget of the, the, of the ANC, uh, which has been very compromised here in the city of Johannesburg. So we'll get to know uh, later on uh, what, what could have happened. So we note the outcome of uh, this uh, process and uh, we'll continue to play our role as a robust opposi opposition that uh, engages, that comes with concrete alternatives and solutions in terms of what should happen to the people of Johannesburg. We have played our part. There's nothing else that we can do. We contested for elections. We did not establish or re-establish an ANZ government. So you won't be challenging... Oh, I'm so sorry. You won't be challenging this process. Basically, they've won fair and square. Look, our issue was that whoever is elected a mayor should be elected by 50% plus one. We were going to challenge it if whoever is elected a mayor was not elected by 50% plus one. So most definitely, we're not going to 
challenge that in a court process because it will be uh, irrational to challenge that because 50% plus one was established through whatever arrangement was made uh, with the other political parties and the secret voters. Moving forward to ANC and the budgets that they propose, particularly the next year's budget for the city? We, we, we are going to deal with those issues when the time arrives in terms of how do we uh, deal with budgeting. But one thing for sure is that we're not going to form part of a political, political organizations that will just hand over the past of the city to Jeff Makubo. We know his credentials, we know his track record, that he is not to be trusted with the resources of the city. We are not going to support the government of Jeff Makubo because he is not trustworthy. That is why we, we told the, the ANC representatives when we engaged with them that it can be anyone else, not Jeff Makubo, who was working with the regiment's capital, which uh, is part of the Gupta criminal syndicate in terms of siphoning off the money from the city. The sinking fund was being looted, and, then, and he personally and his company benefited not less than 30 million rands out of those activities. And these are things that are confirmed by the ANC government uh, here in the city of Johannesburg when they were still in office, that he was indeed involved in those issues. So we cannot really be associated with Jeff Makubo. So where did, where did it go wrong with your negotiations with the ANC? <laughs> The breaking point between our discussion with the ANC was on Jeff Makubo. We said that we will never vote for Jeff Makubo. We, we, we did not have a problem with having a mayor who is going to be uh, presiding over the city for the next 18 months until the next local government elections in 2021. But we said that it cannot be Jeff Makubo because he is uh, extremely compromised. He is not a suitable candidate to lead the city. He, he, he is extremely conflicted and is not a, 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 a suitable candidate for the governance of the city. That was the breaking point in terms of the discussions that we've had here. Mr. Shivambu, some may say that that is rich coming from you since you yourself are alleged to be embroiled in issues of corruption when it comes to Skameka projects and the issues of VBS saying that you may be too rich and not the one to speak about ethics when it comes to those issues since you are also involved in issues of looting at VBS. We are not uh, involved in any looting of any state resources anywhere. And we are not contesting to be mayors of the city of Johannesburg. We have never done any business with any of the, uh, the cities that we participate in in terms of government. So there is no confusion about that. And we are, our conscience is very clear. We are not confused about where we stand in terms of all these issues. And of course, there are a lot of uh, media puppies that are always backing in terms of uh, what could have happened. But we know that there is nothing wrong that we have ever done as the leadership of the economic freedom fighters. We're not even conflicted about that. In council, moving forward, how will EFF councils ensure that they keep the ANC on their face? We will continue to be robust. You would know that the EFF caucuses all across South Africa are the best caucuses in terms of holding executives accountable. So the leadership of the EFF here in the city of Johannesburg is going to continue to hold uh, the, the uh, established uh, executive accountable. So we'll, we'll make sure that each and every cent that the city has at its disposal is accounted for. There won't be shortcut procedures to appoint uh, uh, contractors and whoever is going to be appointed. And there won't be some random firing of uh, leadership in, in the administration because uh, people want to uh, loot the, state, uh, the, the resources of this city. So it's, it's one of the things that we're going to be uh, doing, like we do in Parliament, like we do in the provincial legislatures, like we do in all councils. We're going to hold the executive here accountable in a very robust and clear way we will consistently inform the people of Johannesburg that we are guarding your resources because a person who is compromised is now presiding as a mayor. Mr. Chivambo, I mean, you were saying you can't work with Mr. Makubo. And the, the, the FF has been making the principle of saying you don't want to be in coalition and vote on an issue by issue basis. So if they present the budgets and other issues in the country and you agree in terms of the content, of what they are presenting. Are you going to disagree with them on the basis of you not wanting to work with the ANC that government? Or you are going to agree with this proposal? Well, you know, the basis of rejecting a budget sometimes is not just the contents of the budget. Sometimes it's based on who is going to administer the implementation of such a budget. 
So we are not going to vote for a budget that is going to be expended by Jeff Makubo because we do not trust him. We do that in many instances when we reject budgets in Parliament. We always say that we do not trust you. We think this is a progressive issue to deal with, but we do not trust you with the resources of the state. So that will be the basis of our rejection of the misgovernance that, is a, as, that has just been re-established of Jeff Makubo here in Johannesburg. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you so much, Floyd. We joined by... Uh, Mike Moriarty of the DA, who will give us uh, his reaction. I know they are quite disappointed at um, you know the outcomes, as they were quite optimistic that uh, they would actually win. Mike, well, I'm not feeling particularly good. I feel very disappointed that there are councillors that saw fit um, to vote in somebody who is thoroughly compromised with uh, allegations of corruption. You all know about the 30 million rand. Uh, contract that he profited from, from the city of Johannesburg. It's the residents of Johannesburg's money that went there, and some of it even while he was MMC for finance. Um, for us, that, that is uh, you know, an indication of who the person is, and if that is the indication, then we're saying, well, everything that we've been saying about the ANC is true. They are mired in corruption, and they're incapable of self-correcting. And unfortunately, these people have been returned to office and will now resume looting, as they did prior to Herman Mashaba taking over in 2016. We think it's a very sad day, not only for Johannesburg, but Johannesburg is the engine of the, econ the economy of South Africa. It's a sad day for South Africa. And I think that the, uh, the people that need to drive home tonight and ask themselves, what, what have they done? are the councillors who weren't from the ANC. I mean, uh, you know, take, it off, uh, take whatever you can away or give um, uh, credit to the ANC and Mr. Makubo. But the fact of the matter is that he had 122 councillors here, but he got 137 votes. There were 15 other councillors who had a great choice in front of them. They had Funzingabeni, a man who's entirely capable, has been right at the side of Herman Mashaba, has demonstrated that he has all of the expertise to lead um, Johannesburg to truly be that world-class African city. And unfortunately, they chose to reject him and choose somebody who's, as I say, very much compromised. It's a, it's a sad day. It's a sad day not only because of the outcome, but also of the behavior and the uh, choices made by councillors that, quite frankly, should have known better. And I think that their consciences will prick them from this day on. Mike, he got 137 votes, Correct. meaning the IFP voted with him. There yeah. is a possible chance that some DA councillors actually voted for Jeff Makubo. Is this not a problem for the DA? Well, not really, because, you know, there will be individuals. It's a closed ballot, and you accept that in a closed ballot, individuals will do whatever they uh, will do. Um, you know, the... the, the, the there's no way that the DA would want to go on some kind of a witch hunt. Um, uh, the, the folks themselves must live with their choice. Um, if they have got any sense of um, ethics and morality, they would say, well, you know what, I actually made a choice that uh, you know, the DA is not the way to go. And if that's the choice that they made, they shouldn't actually stay a minute longer. They should actually um, say, you know what, it was me, I resign. And um, it's up to them now whether they'll actually do that in the next couple of days. But, but it was probably a, be about two of them, maximum. There won't be more than two. Does this not I, I, speak I, I, to a bigger picture that the DA is in, is in tatters? I, I, no, definitely not in tatters. I mean, you know, we got 101 votes out of a possible 102. So I don't think that that's tatters. I, you know, that's one, less than 1%. So, uh, Natasha, it's not tatters. Um, but it, it's a disappointment. Uh, I would be lying to you um, uh, if I didn't say that I uh, you know, was, wasn't disappointed. I am disappointed, without a doubt. Um, but the fact of the matter is that uh, there's an individual or maybe two individuals um, who have to live with themselves and it's, it's, it's an individual choice that was made here. It had nothing, in my view, to do with ideology. Mm -hmm. It had nothing to do with the direction of the party. It had nothing to do with any recent elections. I think that this had something to do with the age-old thing that we used to experience during floor crossing. Um, I don't know what kind of deal that the ANC did with those individuals, but I think that they took the deal. I think it's very sad. I think it doesn't reflect very well on those individuals. But I'm not going to worry about them. I'm grateful for the 101 councillors who stood firm and supported the right person, and that was Funzi Ngubeni. As I say, 
uh, he was the right person to lead um, Johannesburg. Mr. Moriarty, what yes, does sir. this say about your party? You've lost Johannesburg and you're seemingly losing a group of 20 as well. What does this say about your project of governing this province? Well, I think it has more to say about the um, conduct of coalition partners than anything else. I mean, if you think about it, just about every coalition partner, bar one, must have voted for the ANC. And no doubt there will be conversations had, had at a leadership level um, with the leaders of the coalition partners. And uh, I think, Sam, please ask us tomorrow because I think those conversations have, uh, have, have got to be had. Um, and uh, once those conversations have been had, then I think that we'll come out. I, I suspect, Sam, what you'll find is that the leaders of the coalition partners would say that, uh, and if they're honest, they probably lost control of their local councillors. Um, I think, you know, all, one of the disappointments, Sam, is this. You know, you talk to the, the, the coalition partners and they say, don't worry, we're voting for you. And then you get a result like this. You know, you feel betrayed, um, without a doubt. And so um, uh, it is with a sense of betrayal that I'm talking to you. But the fact of the matter is um, that these individuals made their choices. We have to have consultations with the coalition partners at a, a leadership level and ask where do we go to as coalition partners from, from here. But you're asking me about Chwane. Did you ask that, Sam? The long and the short of it is that happily for us in Chwane, we have the benefit of having elected more DA councillors than the ANC got elected. The dynamics are completely different uh, to here. Um, so I, 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 I'm much more confident of Chwane than I was in Johannesburg. This was always going to be a knife edge. All right. Um, yeah, but too late, I think. Um, but even in, in, in the event, let's say, you know, what, what I expected to happen, um, honestly, Tommy, is this, um, that had it gone a second round, those 30 votes would have come to us. Um, I, I, I'm absolutely confident of that. I don't know if the EFF would be prepared to disclose which way their guys would have voted, um, but I'm confident that that would have been the case. But the irony is it wasn't going to be enough. You know, if you add the 30 to what we got, it's still below the 137 of the, um, uh, of the ANC. Uh, and, and our problem here was not the EFF, but it was actually the coalition partners or at least their local councillors. Thank you so much for your time. You're going to have to wrap up. Of course, that was Mike Moriarty of the DA expressing his disappointment, uh, saying that, uh, you know, other DA members, true uh, councillors, would have possibly or actually possibly voted, uh, you know, for Jeff Makubo to elect him as a mayor of the city of Johannesburg. Of course, the epicenter of South Africa, the economic hub of South Africa, the world-class African city, Jeff Makubo, is now uh, the mayor of Johannesburg. Of course, just reminding you of what the EFF had said. They said that noted that Jeff uh, Makubo is uh, the mayor of Johannesburg, uh, but also expressing their disappointment because uh, you, they, they just basically said that they actually rejected talks uh, with the ANC because of uh, you know the election of Jeff Makubo, saying that this is a person that's actually embroiled in uh, corruption. Uh, so both political parties, they're not happy. But I can tell you the ANC is over over the moon by reclaiming the city three years after uh, it was lost to the opposition. But we have to run downstairs to actually speak to the man of the moment, Jeff Makubo, and the Secretary General uh, of the ANC, Ace Mahashule. I'm told they actually refused to come up here, so we just have to follow one communication spokesperson to actually go speak uh, to them. But of course, as the SABC, we will give you rolling coverage uh, of this. For those of you who have just joined us, Jeff Makubo is now um, the mayor of Johannesburg. Natasha, thank you very, very much indeed. That's our reporter, Natasha Beery, uh, who has uh, just broken the news, of course, that uh, Johannesburg has a new mayor. And uh, it's a changing of the guard, the African National Congress, once again in charge of the city. Jeff Makubo is the new mayor, controversial, some people might call him. And certainly those that were on the other side of those votes are very disappointed. But the ANC elated uh, with winning back the city. We'll have more for you on that story, certainly, in the next hour. Stay with us. You're still watching SA Today.